Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and this video is why I have Tottenham made a U-turn. Let's start from the start. Tottenham came out of the what's going on at the minute and saying they can't play all red stuff. And now I know Tottenham's not the only club to do it, but the, the last club that I know that have made a U-turn to say I'm going to pay off our full star full back. I know Liverpool done it, I don't quite understand why. But obviously we're just gonna go into one topic. They say the same reason as well pop up for both clubs. I think there might be one more club, I'm not 100 sure now. But you the Tottenham chairman owns millions of pounds. We all know that. We all know if you're going lucky if it's a million or you win the lottery, you're done for lot. I know the Tottenham chairman has also got to pay bills, stadiums, whatever he actually pays, but to not pay your staff all whack and try and rely on the government, this is the only time you really I agree with the government that the fact of you know what they're doing and what they're trying to do to protect the public is you know, this is enough from the government, but this is not about the government, this is about Tottenham Chairman and what he tried to do. He basically was saying, we can't have staff fall back because of certain reasons. I don't believe that story for one minute. As I've said, he's a multi-millionaire, and when you're multi-millionaires, I've already said this once, you know, your bank account looks pretty wealthy for the rest of your life. Why do I think they made the U-turn? I don't think it's got nothing to do with Tottenham. I think because when Liverpool done it, Tottenham go, oh well, if they done it, we could do it. And then Liverpool made the U-turn. I think that's why Tottenham made it. But I also think that Arsenal might be one of the clubs that the Tottenham chairman was looking at and going, ah, I don't have to pay my star, you know, full pack the line of government. Not only do I think it's wrong for, you know, people like the Tottenham chairman to align the government, I think that's wrong overall. I think that with the likes of what players get paid, what the chairman's are owning, I think if something like this happens again, I hope, I hope it don't, because it's really annoying being locked down, I think most of the people on there, you know, their own, and still pay their star, you know, full term. It'd be a bit like, let me put into it a bit Let's say I've got a team, you know, behind me, which I haven't at the minute, or I have to admit that. But let's say I've got a team behind me that edits my videos, that makes my custom thumbnails, that makes, you know, my leaflets for say, that makes my merch, that makes, you know, all this thing that makes YouTubers what we do. Um, and I say to them, um, I ain't got the full, um, you know, revenue this time around, I can't pay you full time. What do you think? my team would say to me personally and I won't be nice but you know it's the honest truth when you as I've said and I've said this more than once already I've tried to say as many times as uh, possible when you make millions of pounds you're expected to look after your staff I know the club that I support and it's where I'm from Brighton and like Albion are paying their staff still no football club is in business well not full trade business anyway because of obviously what's going on but you've got to think about obviously when football's being paid it's quite simple to you know look and go well he's making thousands he's making thousands he's making thousands this club's making thousands you have got to think of the long term you know future as i've said if something like this happens again i hope it don't but you really have got to look at the you know prospects of what can happen and you know no one can predict the future I wish I could, but I can't. And they've also got to come up with suggestions like this. If the Tottenham Chairman won't go pay his full, you know, team or wages, why and how will the lower clubs survive? I know for the fact that every chairman in the Premier League is quite well. I know for the fact that the only one that seems to be struggling, which I think is a lot of rubbish, is my cash. But, you know, with this suggestion, or oh, I ain't paying my team for whack, I ain't doing this, I ain't doing that. Why not? You're a wealthy man. As I've said, I've, I've said it earlier in the video and I'll say it again. It'd be like having a team behind me and I'm saying I can't pay you full whack this month because I ain't got the full revenue. You know, you can imagine what the, the people would say to me. I think a lot of the Tottenham new term has got to deal with the Liverpool new term. Because the Liverpool were a club that said, I think they said we can't pay our staff full whack. So it's top. But this is where a lot of it comes into like prospects of why are you paying your players so much money? 
why should the price take pay cut? I know the FA are trying to get the price take pay cut, but if I was the, you know, the owner of the football club, I would sit there and go, right, you've got millions of pounds in your bank, right? I'm talking about players now, just in case you slightly lost me there. And I can't pay the staff the full term wage. I would go up to certain players, I know like players like Ronaldo and Lionel Messi and, you know, Marcus Rashford, get paid up to thousands million pounds a week and I know Wayne Rooney was at one point then at United at a million pound a month so I would go up to them players going look I know it's not your fault but I can't pay full wage this week to the other staff I mean no disrespect by saying other staff but I you know what I mean stewards uh, she won't work in the shop you're stuck you're who you know puts the stuff on the shelf for you I would go and say to the player do you mind if you take a slight pay cut this month so I can pay my lower staff who are really strong to survive and I'll try and pay you back next month. You know, why can't the players chip in? I know Brighton, as I said, you know, club of mine where I'm born, it's pan is full star full whack, which is fair play for it. They have got to be, you know, solution to what's going on in the football world at the moment. At this present time, as I said, I can't predict the future, but we still don't know whether we're gonna have the D2 table for next season. We're not even sure yet whether it, you know, continues this season. Hopefully it will, but we're going to have to wait and see. It's like with, you know, with the F1 team, you know, you've got Lewis Hamilton with page thousand there. But uh, I don't, you know, 100% agree with that, but he does risk his life for, you know, for the Mercedes team. I do, you know, it's always things that really gets me frustrated in sports with the likes of what's going on. But this is why, why do I think Tottenham made a U-turn? As I've said, I think it's something to do with Liverpool, and they coming out and we go past staff or whack. He don't want to look bad in the press, but if I was in charge of a football club, I would literally go on hand my staff or whack. If got the worst chance of the worst of ours, the players, I seriously don't know why I get paid so much anyway, but there you go, that's another subject for another time. But, um, yeah, so I thought I'd put this video out there, why well, I took the made of the U-10, as I just said, I think it's probably Liverpool doing that. He didn't want to look bad in the press, but I'll bring this video to an end, guys, you know what to do. Give this video a big top on the video. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Cheers.